The recent cool, wet weather is good news for forest fire crews, but there are still eight major blazes burning in our region. CKPG News had a helicopter tour of the Yuchinico Lakes fire near Quinell. Right now, it's about 15% contained. This is what the fire looks like from above. So even though we can't see them from up here, there are 20 people down there right now in this little section where these helicopters are working. They're on the ground trying to work to contain the fire on the north side of the river. With every bucket of water, crews are one step closer to getting this fire under control. Rob Krause is the man in charge. And, uh, there's lots of excitement and fantastic people. You know, we get to work with uh, we get to work with the communities. We get to work with uh, firefighters from all across Canada. Krause and his team were called in to fight this blaze. It wasn't if we were going to be called, it was when and where we would be going. They survey the scene from above and decide the next plan of attack. So the fire is not even close to being out yet. Every one of those, for every smoke that we can see, there are probably 10 or 20 that aren't big enough for us to see from the air. The rain and cooler weather have put out the massive flames, but this fire is still burning deep underground. Crews are taking down trees to build a perimeter. For containment as well, um, as well as doing a lot of wet lining. So using their hose to spray down an area uh, to make sure that the soil is uh, very saturated to prevent uh, further growth. This blaze is burning on two sides of a lake. The easiest access to the southern side of this fire is through Quinell and the easiest access to the northern side is through Vanderhoof. So for our crews, we can drive in between. We don't have to go all the way around or we can fly crews. So it's we're very remote. 160 firefighters are on the ground with a support team back at camp. I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's nice to be um, localized to the area that where the activity is. It's important for getting information out um, as well as uh, being around the crews so that you can get the most up-to-date information. Everything from logistics and planning to food service, it's all here. We're staying in tents. It's, it's almost like a weekend camping trip except you have to work hard every day. This is Rob Krause's 34th summer fighting wildfires. He says it's rewarding to be able to help people in a time of crisis. The resort owners, the cabin owners, and you get to, to be a help to them, and uh, it's a big thrill. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.